now. NBC5 First Warning Weather with Chief Meteorologist Tyler Jankowski. Sure, a pretty scary situation for her today yes. on that. Uh, but we've got some really good weather this weekend. Absolutely. 90s finally getting back into some of that summer weather. But if you like the cooler weather, you'll want to soak in the temperatures tonight because we got one more comfortable night before the humidity picks up. Right now, we've got temps in the 50s and 60s. We've had a lot of these kind of nights lately this month where it's just so cool out there. So we're certainly below average. 66 in Burlington, 54 in Saranac Lake. So pretty impressive stuff. Now, if we zoom out and show you the entire country, you can see a lot of hot air over the central part of the United States, which has been the story over the past few weeks. 94 in Dallas at this hour, 83 in Kansas City. All of this is moving in our direction so that we get into the 90s by Sunday. So you can see all clear here on Storm Tracker, no precipitation, hardly any clouds, couple of high ones over there in northern New York. But Otherwise, we are precipitation free. The only precipitation on the map is right along this weak cold front up north of Montreal and Quebec that's going to try and sink down into our area tomorrow afternoon. That could spark off an isolated shower or storm, but otherwise we are mainly dry, turning warmer and much more humid tomorrow afternoon. And then the first 90 degree day of the year in Burlington comes Sunday, forecasting 92 before a cold front brings us back down to normal levels with uh, some more showers and thunderstorms. Sunday night into early Monday morning. So here we go. We've got the hot weather over the center of the country creeping east. You can see those warmer colors really bleeding right into the northeast as the jet stream moves way north of our area, way into Canada. So that allows that warmer air to move north. Now it doesn't last very long because by Monday morning, notice how the jet stream dips back to our south. So we're back under this cooler northwesterly flow with that warmer air back out over the central United States, which has pretty much been the pattern all month. So if we do manage to hit 92 in Burlington, it would be the first of the year because uh, we haven't quite done it. We've uh, only hit 89 a couple of times this year back in May. Now keep in mind the average first 90 degree day is on June 20th, so we'd only be about a week late for that, the earliest being April 17th and the latest 90 degrees being all the way in September 15th back in 1915. So let's play everything out on Futurecast. Lots of sun to start off your Saturday. Couple of puffy clouds in the afternoon and you notice one or two little pop-up showers or storms right there. Very icy. 99% of us are dry, but don't be surprised to encounter a quick downpour. Now, Sunday is dry again with lots of sun. It's even hotter with 90s, but you notice by the evening, 6 or 7 o'clock, we start to get some clouds and some showers in to northern New York. Now, all of that pushes east overnight Sunday into very early Monday morning, so we actually could start off with a pretty wet day on Monday for your commute in certain parts of the region. Right now, it looks most likely over central and eastern parts and western New Hampshire as well. So if you're headed to the lake tomorrow, it's dry. You'll have perfect conditions, really. Wind under five knots for most of the region. Wave heights only about a foot or less great day to get on a kayak out there or a paddleboard. Water temperature on the chillier side in the 60s, but it'll feel really good with that strong June sunshine. So one more comfortable night to open those windows. 50s to near 60 in the Champlain Valley, looking like more like upper 40s to near 50 in the Adirondacks. Tomorrow, all of us warm into the 80s, upper 80s for the Champlain Valley, low 90s for the upper valley. And then those 90s get into the Champlain Valley by Sunday cooling back off into the 70s by Monday and Tuesday with that cold front. Brian?